Hi, my name is Mandeep Dahal and I'm currently a PhD student in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of Connecticut under the supervision of Dr. Kai Miller. The title of my presentation is The Direct Tensile and Fluid Behavior of Ultra High Performance Concrete Coupled with Micromechanical Modeling. To begin with the introduction, Ultra High Performance Concrete or UHPC is an advanced form of cementitious composite with enhanced mechanical properties and durability properties than the conventional concrete and the high strength concrete. It is characterized by compressive strength of over 120 MPa and tensile strength of over 8 MPa with strain hardening behavior. Such exceptional mechanical property is a result of its improved particle packing, which is a result of using very fine powder material that results in its dense microstructure. And, uh, among the various ingredients in UHPC, a key constraint is the discontinuous steel fiber, which imparts toxicity to the UHPC matrix that also results in its strain hardening behavior. Now, the research significance. There has been a lot of work studying the tensile and the single fiber pullout behavior in UHPC matrix with different steel fibers. However, there are very few work that try to quantify the contribution of fiber in the tensile behavior and correlate that with the pullout behavior of the fiber. This is of particular importance because it can lead to efficient fiber utilization and ultimately a cost efficient UHPC. As fibers are uh, the most expensive component of UHPC which can account up to 50% of the total material cost and they are often underutilized with the current work uh, will explore the fiber efficiency of UHPC using the direct tensile test and pull out test and then combine those results into a micro mechanical model on doing so we will calculate the fiber efficiency factor uh, as a function of bond strength embedment length, fiber aspect ratio, fiber volume, cost of the fiber and the elastic modulus of fiber and the matrix. These are the typical tensile and the polar behavior of the UHPC as shown in the figure 1. Now the methodology. To explore the fiber efficiency in UHPC, we will conduct the direct tensile tests using different types of steel uh, fibers at different dosages from 1 to 2 percentage of the fiber volume. Also, we will conduct the single fiber pullout test by embedding the pristine fibers in the UHPC matrix. Both the tests will be done at a displacement control and, the, in, and using this, the contribution of uh, individual fibers can be calculated by counting the number of fibers bridging the cracking plane and this can be compared with the results from the uh, single fiber pullout test. And this can be helpful to know the degree of fiber utilization and in turn calculate the fiber efficiency factor. In addition to this, uh, the experimental results will be predicted based on a micro mechanical model uh, given based on this equation here, where the composite strength is the function of the uh, fiber embedment length, inclination angle to the loading axis, and the crack opening. And the integration uh, is carried out considering all the fibers which bridge, which bridge the axis of the crack plane. In the figure 2, we have uh, our uh, preliminary test results with a picture of our uh, testing setup. In this figure, a bilinear model is drawn considering the two experimental values, the first cracking strength and the uh, peak post cracking strength, that is the sigma PC. An extrapolated line is drawn to represent the linear behavior of the matrix before cracking and another line is drawn to represent the strain hardening behavior from the 19 percent of the uh, sigma pc and the intersection of both the lines is taken as the sigma cc and the unloading modulus is calculated from the unloading line uh, which is used to complete the bilinear model now the summary and the future work <coughs> through our uh, through our preliminary test we were able to obtain the tensile data with the unloading line and the bilinear model as shown in the figure 2. The data uh, obtained uh, from this from the tensile test can be from this tensile test can be used to calculate the energy dissipated during the strain hardening and the strain softening. And this will be done as per the references including included in the reference one. Uh, and in the future, 
more samples will be prepared using the multiple fiber length, fiber volume, and the tensile behavior of the HPC will be studied uh, alongside the single fiber polar behavior to compute the fiber efficiency factor. And we will also develop a reliable micromechanical model using the theory of micromechanics to predict the experimental result with higher accuracy. Uh, and in the end, I would like to acknowledge the financial support provided by TIDC to support our research under the title uh, Efficiency of Fiber Reinforcement in Ultra High Performance Concrete under the project number 220 uh, under the grant 69835518471. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.